Barry Baxter, good morning. You made a great sound coming up the hill on the Ducati. Tell us about the bike. Well, the bike is the Caparossi uh, Ducati, MotoGP Ducati from 2005. The bike that won at uh, Sepang and probably one of the fastest recording road race bikes, just under 120 mile an hour. And uh, tell us about riding up the hill because you made quite a good show, certainly a lot of noise. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all your Christmases come at once riding this bike up the hill. Yeah, no, it, it handles beautifully. It, uh, it, it's actually a fairly easy bike to ride. You're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, I am up there with the gods. <laughs> I'm not up there with the gods, but I do enjoy it. Anyhow, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much for talking to us, Barry. Nice to see you. Sean Emmett, good morning. Fantastic mix as a bike standing up here at the top of the hill. What did you come up on? I came up actually on a Neil Hodgson's um, 998 Ducati. So, yeah, I've spent many years um, riding the Dukes and I love them. Just, um, it's just great fun. I always feel at home and pull a few wheelies, do a few skids. Yeah, all good fun. Oh, we hate all of that. <laughs> but what's the, what's the highlight for you coming to Goodwood? Because there's so much to see. Well, I think it's everything. I think it's the only event really in the world where you get an open paddock, everybody can go around and take very tact so you can touch everyone people drive f1 drivers rally cars bikes old and new i just think it's the best event in the world and um we're normally blessed with good weather as we are now and then obviously we we all recover from the ball last night so yeah that was a big night yeah good chance to just sort of refocus your mind a quick blast up the hill yeah get sweat some alcohol out and yeah luckily um yeah we're all, we all made well most of us made it a few lightweights didn't but yeah all good yeah having a great time i just it's a fantastic event. It's one of a kind. Well, Sean, thanks very much for talking to us. You're welcome. Yeah, cheers. Mick Hackenden, good morning. How are you feeling today? And you? Oh, good. I'm feeling good. Again, fantastic time. And uh, how much is, a, is it a delight to drive this W196? So different, obviously, from everything you raced, but just such an exciting car. Oh, it's, it's very exciting, and, and it, it is amazing how this, this car handles, you know, in terms of suspension. Even the road is bumpy, you know, you can see all the wheels moving. And, and still the car feels like it, you know, it creeps on the road like no tomorrow. So it, it's a good car, fantastic. But I don't, it's, it's here you cannot really get the maximum potential out of this car, but you get the little bit feeling you can get, you know, it, it has a fantastic potential. And of course the history shows it did the fantastic uh, results. But obviously you're dealing with a, a big car, but with a huge steering wheel. Must feel so different from when you used to race in Formula One. Oh yeah, you're, 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 you're up. Maybe you don't see it, but it, it's really big. And uh, but in those days, you know, to, because you did not have a power steering, and the steering weight is really heavy, and the races were, you know, many hours, like four hours. So uh, so you you needed to have a big steering. You could not use to like a Formula One steering. There's no way you would be able to steer the car properly. Yeah. Good. So you're coming up again this afternoon. That's the plan. Good man. Speak to you later. Thanks, Mikael. Yeah, thanks.